physios i welcome you all to our channel physio vidyapeet we are back with our next lecture and here we are going to study about fluidotherapy so which is another important method of providing heat therapy or thermotherapy so my name is vijay kumar and let's get started see what is fluidotherapy as the name indicate fluid but here it is not the actual fluid which is water here the particles of corn cob okay so you can see i am displaying an image in which you can see corn from here if we remove all the corn and the part which is left that part is called corn cob so that particle that thing is finely crushed and used in this thing it is a dry heating agent okay and hydrocolator was moist heating so these are some viva question so it is a dry heating agent that transfer heat by convection so what is convection did you understand there were three main mode of heat transfer na conduction convection and radiation so what was conduction we were uh, giving the example of heating a iron rod so this is a iron rod i am heating it from here first of all this part will become heat then it will heat will move to what other part what was convection it was used in fluids okay that is why in fluidotherapy we are having convection what was convection so let us see this is a container which is having a fluid like substance in it and from the lower part we are providing some heat so first of all this layer will get heat and it will go up then this layer will come down then this will get heat and again go up so it form the current which is called the convectional current okay so th this is the mode of heating convection that provide mechanical as well as thermal stimuli so here there are two stimuli first is mechanical that is corn cob is in touch with our body part and other is mechanical as it is mechanical and other is thermal which is provided by heat for therapeutic effect it consists of a cabinet so i am adding a picture for you you can see there is a cabinet which is containing finely grounded cellulose particle that is a powder which is made up from corn cob okay so the mixture is present in the cabinet then heated air is made to circulate through these particle so inside the cabinet there is a air which is heated and that air is circulated by these particle so heated air is made to to be circulated through these particle so that the particle move like a liquid that is the main thing that the container which is carrying a part mixture of mixture or a powder of cellulose particle derived from corn cob and here heat is circulated by it and it felt it feel like a water okay that is liquid okay the the patient's part is put inside the cabinet so th it is mostly used for the distal part for example for our hand so we will put our hand inside the cabinet the patient's part is put inside the cabinet and start to float as it float inside the water so due to the heat which is circulated by the cellulose particle uh, we can we will feel that our hand is floating inside water okay and get heat feed okay as the system has a very low viscosity and viscosity means the resistance of that fluid it is very low it allow exercise to be performed yes this is the main important differentiator it allow exercise to be performed in the moist heat pack i have explained that you, if you are having a moist heat pack application on your shoulder if you will move your shoulder definitely the heat pad will fall down but here as our part distal part is inside the cabinet we can do exercise also that is we can move our body part inside the cabinet so it allow active exercises to be performed inside the cabinet like the exercise performed uh, in the warm water okay so it, as it is feeling like water so we can do exercise the temperature is about 38 to 45 degrees celsius or little higher okay the treatment is usually given for 15 to 20 minutes that is again same then what are some advantages and disadvantages advantage this is very good advantage that active movement is possible then the part treated is subjected to very minimal pressure yes 
in the moist heat pack there was a uh, there was disadvantage that some people failed to tolerate the weight of moist heat pack but here we are putting the part body part into the into the phototherapy equipment which is having very low viscosity so there is not any kind of weight on our body part then it is easy to apply what are some disadvantages yes definitely the equipment is bit costly then may keep limb in a dependent position yes uh, dependent position and thereby aggravating the edema so in case of edema we usually prescribe to keep the body part elevated okay but here so due to the equipment so we need to put it into the gra gravity dependent position which may aggravate edema in some cases may cause overheating and burn of tissue then particle may spill on to a smooth floor which can cause slippery floor and there may be some fall okay so which is uh, which are some important disadvantages of fluido therapy okay so this is whole about the fluido therapy in our next lecture we will study about another important method of providing heat therapy or thermotherapy so till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all